Hi guys, this is GoodFlash here, and welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You. In the last part, we started the week of awesomeness. Nope, no look. Looks like no, this one's not opening either. Well, thanks anyways. You're dismissed. He's the boss of those Reapers, I guess? Hmm. Route 1, sealed off. Oh boy. Hey, Korea. Any luck? Routes 2, 5, and 6 are all sealed. Gotta hand it to them. This guy works fast. He could have told us what areas are open. What the hell is he thinking? Are we, like, completely insignificant? Yeah, of course, you yachtograms. Rock, this man seriously frosted my cookies. Someone make- please, guys, make that a thing in all of YouTube now, frost my cookies. Nah, it's nice to see the boss do some legwork. I said we'd kick back and enjoy the show. Well, I say we work this week. It would be nice to actually work. I'd read that wrong. But all she cares about is work, of course. The players are right there, but no. He says, San hands off. I'll tell you what I like to put my hands around. I, your mouth? What? I sure hope it's your mouth. Hmm, maybe I should just hop over to the RG and use this baby to recruit some new players. A funny gun? Well there, cowgirl. Reaper's whacking folks in the RG is a no-no. Of course. Don't be stupid, I'm joking. Mostly. I'm just saying we may be forced to if we don't get any points. You keep talking about work, work, work. It's... Impossible. Exactly. We can't go on like this. I'm this close to a promotion, but no. Honestly, I don't even know why I try. So, Uzuki, look out. What? What could they possibly have to look out after? Come on, think about things now. Back at the scramble. Oh, where? Back at the scramble crossing. Where's that other kid? You mean Joshua? Oh, are we still on? Are we still on track with the goods? Oh, he's on his phone. What? You already got them. Oh, really? Awesome. Oh, he's on his phone. You know, in the UG, where there's <laughs> no service whatsoever. How did he place a call, and who's he talking to? The scramble? Which area? Sealed? In that case, at that time limit at... set the time limit... what? And anything else? What is he talking about? Wait, is he reporting into the Reapers? Is he the spy? Definitely, Shady. I can't tell what he's thinking. Or can I? Exactly. Maybe another scan will turn something up. Which voice am I reading this in? I don't even know anymore. So, let's try it. Scan. Luckily, nobody else is thinking anything at the moment. Joshua, what's up, bro? You fantastic person, you. Oh, more trippy-ass music. Something about this is just so, like, cosmic. I don't know, I don't know the correct adjective for it. Oh, a player pin. Oh, it's Neku. And he's dead. On the ground. Oh, that's, that's kind of funny. I mean, why is he thinking that? But whatever. Nyug, huff, huff. That was me? Why was I passed out in Udagawa? And why was it that in his head? Maybe he has just some really twisted thoughts. Udagawa? I can't remember. Wait, was I dead? Did I die in Udagawa? That would mean he was, he saw me die. He was there. Or maybe he did more than just watch. Ooh. One way to find out, but no, I can't just ask him. If that sparks a huge fight, I'm screwed. We need to work together to clear these missions. I can't afford to risk it, so he knows something. Oh boy, the mission! Yay! Hmm, was that the mission, Neku? Oh yeah. For now, I can only watch and wait. The mission says to, hey, say Neku, I have a little proposal. What? Let's play hooky for today. Forget about the mission. Oh, he's also a slacker. I can totally relate to this guy. This guy hits me right here. And I'm touching my heart right now, or the chest around my heart, because if the if I was touching my heart, that would be a little crazy. If you don't get this, if you don't do this, we'll get erased. But there's some place I really want to go. Let the other players take care of the mission. Even if it's not, it's not as if we have to do everything. Yes, we do. I can't afford to screw around on this. I'm not letting anything jeopardize this game. Oh, don't get so worked up, Neku. It's only day two. Enjoy it while it's still easy. I'm not just playing for me anymore. What? Her life is on the line too. Flashback! Finally, we can get some insight, because this is the one flashback that's actually useful. Well, where are we? It's too bright, I can't see a thing. Yo! Oh, it's Beat! I, <laughs> I almost thought it wasn't Beat, but that was stupid. He said, yo, you're safe. Yeah, you too, huh? Why'd you run on your own like that? You had us all so worried, I, I just had to. Look, yo, my bad. I just had to take off, yo. Okay, so, we are alive again? I'm afraid not. Not yet, anyways. What? Who's there, yo? Who is? Oh, <laughs> hello and congratulations, you are all the victors. How did you find your game? Enjoyable. Your Megumi Kitanaji, Kitaniji, conductor of the game, and loyal servant to the composer, the composer, who made this music that's actually not a, like a lyrical track. 
conductor, then he's the head reaper? Now then, regarding your fates. As per the composer's, composer's mandate, the number of players to be given a new life this round is... 1. Oh, well then. Look at that. <laughs> is it a fight to the death? Oh, what did you say? But that's, that's cruel. I thought everyone got to come back. No, who said that? And by all specifics are decided by the composers. And his exclusive and incontroversial right, he talks really highly of him. Why did you think we can get why do you think we came this far? To live again. Everyone last what hold up, what? Not exactly. Not exactly what? Not everyone. I I ain't going back. What? I I wanna be a reaper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Things are just falling apart in our hands. So how about it, yo? Make me part of your crew, yo. What beat? Okay, very well. You wish is within my authority to grant. The Reapers welcome you. Oh boy, that was just awkward. Beat, why? He has his reasons, yo. Hey, Beat, wait. Okay, he failed. Okay, I didn't know we'd figure that out that quickly in time. Why would Beat want to join the Reapers? Why, indeed. The hour of reckoning draws near. Okay. Your points have been tallied, and the player to be reborn is deciding. I thought this was a game where the show is made up and the points don't matter. Congratulations, Shiki Misaki. Oh boy, that's even more awkward. M me? But I can't. I'm not going back alone. I can't, it's unfair. And why me? We grade players according to their performance during the missions. You scored the highest. Yeah, she had this whole plot development. But that can't be right. Neku's way better at Sykes than me. And the riddles, he solved most of those too. He should be the one to go back. If only one of us gets a second chance, what happens to the one left behind? They die. <laughs> if you still cling to life, you may re-enter the game. If you lean towards destruction, you may join your friend as a reaper. Otherwise, you should welcome Oblivion, Erasure is also an option. <laughs> Hell no. Shiki, you go on ahead. No way. Go, trust me, just go. I'm not leaving without you, Neku. I'll enter the game again. Let Neku, you can't do that. Out of the question. Yeah, we have bigger plans, of course. As I mentioned a moment ago, this was decided by the composer himself. Your wishes don't mean a damn. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I quoted something that's totally sucky. Don't worry about me. But, but Neku, didn't you swear you'd go back and see Eri again? Yeah, what does Neku have to do? He doesn't even know anything. I don't know if I can go have anything to go back to. You do, Shiki. Oh, how nice. What are you talking about? Neku had way more character development than Shiki did, I think. Gonna, no, slip him back to the old ways, huh? Back to the old Shiki. No, I'm so sorry, Neku. Thank you. I'll go back, back to the real me. There you go. I'll be waiting for you in front of Hachiko. That's kind of funny because the whole story of the original dog Hachiko is a person that waited for his owner at Hachiko Station. That's kind of, well, I explained that. I explained that totally horribly, but it's just kind of ironic. Neku, flashing lights. When you see the real me, will we still be friends? That depends on how good you look, Shiki. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> oh no. Okay, dramaticness. And Neku's eyes are covered because that's just how things work, I suppose. I probably sound muffled, don't I? But if I sound too unmuffled, then, like, I don't sound... I sound popish. It's frustrating, to say the least. Okay. No, you can't touch each other's hands. That's just not a thing. So, what's up? Shiki. And now it's your turn. You seem to have your mind made up. Damn straight, I'll play your game again. Excellent, no doubt you'll make an exciting one. Then, before the next game begins, allow me to return your previous entry fee. Oh boy, I remember stuff. <sighs> what the hell did you just do to me? I simply returned to you what's yours. Fair is fair. I get it now. This explains a lot. My memory was gone. Because you took it. Indeed. Memories are the single greatest de determinant of a person's identity. A worthy entry fee, wouldn't you say? <laughs> what? Wait, wait a second. Where's the rest? Beg pardon? It's missing. How did I die? I still can't remember anything about my own death. Maybe you were just... <laughs> drunk or something. I remember in the ta I remember I was looking up in the tag mirror on Utagawa, and next I remember waking up in the scramble. Oh really? Most fascinating. Cut the crap, you're the however, that has nothing to do with the game. What? I returned your memory into an eternity. If you can't recall something, <laughs> that's your own fault. I never what could possibly stand to gain from depriving you of that memory? We think yeah, a comical joke, I don't know. He's right. So why is this the only hole in my memory and how did you catch that so quickly? Now then as your new entry fee, you're taking my memory again? A player's entry fee is what they hold most dear. That's the rule. I've taken the liberty of collecting yours. What? This time you're playing for... Shiki Masaki! Oh, shit! What? That's not... No! Okay, so, that explains everything now, doesn't it? Sort of, kind of, not really. I... 
I got it dragged into this. But I'll be damned if I let the, it end this way. I'm winning this game, and I'm not relying on other players doing it for me. Such a solid story, right, Joshua? Hmm. <laughs> what? Hmm. <laughs> what? Weren't you listening? Uh-huh. And here's me playing the world's tiniest violin. Ha <laughs> ha! I can just think of the, you know, Spongebob thing. You little guy, did you think you were special? Every player here put up something they loved. Everyone makes sacrifices. Sacrifices, are you? No, gotta calm down. Losing here will only get <laughs> make things worse. Just take a deep breath, and I just realized we really haven't done anything but talk this entire part, and it's been literally like 10 minutes. How about this? First we complete the mission, after that we can do whatever you want. Hmm. Oh, I suppose. You'll just owe me one. Oh, you won what? You're a player. Clearing the mission helps you. Ugh. Fine. You'll have to... You have, you'll have yourself a deal, Neku. So, what's the mission? Acquire... Game 2. Acquire the Radical 3 AU pin. T equals 300 minutes. Incompletes would be destroyed. What does that even mean? I thought I could do this math. I'm not trained. I need to take advanced show... Mina mnemonics. What? Clock's ticking. What? Uh, why wasn't... I guess that j just did not phase Joshua's timer at all. What's up with the mission? It's gibberish. We know it has something to do with the pin. Any thoughts beyond that, Neku? AU? The periodic symbol for gold? Oh, I would've never thought of that. A pin made of gold, maybe? Hmm, not a bad hypothesis. We'll go with that for now. What about Radical 3? Well, the square root of 3 is... 1.732508. Why does he know that to such great precision? Jam. What jam? Ooh, a tantalizing possibility, Neku. I'm so proud. Bite me. But I think you're just referring to the street here in Shibuya. A street? A reapers use numbers to refer to each of Shibuya Street. Route one, route two, and so on. How does he know that? And why is he quo asking me to make me look stupid? So let's go check out Route Three, which is. The road leading from Kadoe to Molko, shall we? Okay, he knows too much. About the Reaper's game and about my death, he's dangerous. And I know dangerously little about him. Okay, I do wanna get I do wanna get into freaking 104 to buy stuff. Huh, sub players wanna clear this wall? Only the brave get class your yours truly. Hey pretty boy, you're speaking to me? That's right. Come back wearing all natural puppy treads, the horror. Do that, I might let you pass. Possibly, maybe. Um, okay. Do I even have enough pu natural puppy treads? And if I'm not mistaken, even if you do do this mission, he's not going to let you pass, which is kind of a BS thing. Um, natural puppy, natural, natural puppy. Put on natural puppy stuff. Natural puppy? Do I have any natural puppy? I do not have enough natural puppy to puppy this stuff out. Any natural puppy? No, I do not have enough stuff. So, let's just forget we ever tried doing that. And I'm almost digested my food. Well, doesn't matter. That shop's not cool anyways. Center Street Entrance. It was Kadoi to Molko, I'm pretty sure this is the way, right? Ooh, let's, how about we check my favorite shop in the world, and, um, see what's new, because obviously we too, new stuff, and we have quite a low amount of money when I actually think about it. It's not as much as I, was, as I would like, but it should suffice. One, two, three, four, five. I always like to have at least five 1,000 yen pins in case Reapers ask me to have, randomly have 1,000 yen pins for missions. Just, just me. Um, herbal mind and body. So what new can what what's new we can buy? We can buy Viper Drink. Oh boy! All we need is mystery liquid, adamantite, and red viper. We do not have adamantite. Oh, that's right, hard mode. Of course, how could I forget? We can buy some mystery liquid though. Here, it's mystery. It's what a mystery. And we can buy shallows nest. That'll be useful later. Red viper, all the stuff. Cordyceps. We can use that to increase our bravery by a ton. Much obliged. So now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, we got hard mode last part, now we how about we whip it up. Let's put my <laughs> my uh, my level up because I don't have any confidence in myself, and put it up to, yeah, 10 is fine, and put it up to hard, hush the noise. And we're running low on time, but we have to do at least some battle in this part, right? We can't just have all dialogue. So let's fight some enemies. Three of should do fine. Hopefully this won't wreck me. I mean, after all, I do not have any healing pins, so I could possibly die. Especially, especially Joshua, because Joshua honestly does not have that good of stats at this current moment. Maybe I'll do some off-screen grinding, possibly. I oh, don't know, it's always fun to do that. Yeah, see, they're just wrecking me, and Joshua. See how they're wrecking me? And, okay, level up, that always helps. You'll notice they dropped a golden pin. When they drop golden pins, it means they dropped a hard mode pin. And those pins are always just the bomb diggity, of course. Why wouldn't they be? 
so that's one. We're we just clocked out of time. We should fight more because, like you know, I gotta do some fighting. I can't just have a part with absolutely no fighting. I don't think we've ever had a part with absolutely no fighting. That'd just be obscene. So you know, same thing, same old deal. Again, this is hard mode now. Hard mode. Enemies will have much more attack. Well, I'm pretty sure their attack power is doubled, their defense power is doubled, and they give more um, XP as a reward. So you know, high risk, high rewards. They also drop better pins. We also got kangaroos, so that's lovely. Hopefully, we don't encounter any dingoes. Dingoes, of course. Um, I love this. I I probably already showed that, but I just love that dialogue bit. Um, yes. Again, no healing pins, so use the fusion boost to help me not die. Um, I don't know if I explained this, but each chain battle, the enemies actually get slightly and slightly tougher. I only, it's never really a problem until now, because like, you know, I'm <laughs> very, very worried for the safety of Joshua, because again, he is really close to dying. He can just like, you know, he blows it, and then we're, he blows it for all of us. Yeah, no, no, kangaroo. Again, you have to be a bit more careful. These kangaroos have easy, like, tells, sort of, kind of, not really, so just be careful of them. But overall, I'm doing some pretty good. After a bit of grinding, I think I'll be, you know, safe again. And finally, it's, fin it's finally a rush. I have to pay attention to these battles instead of just mindlessly wailing on everything. Oh, this part is going to be a really long part. Neku, do you need a break? As Joshua says as he's dying. So we get rare metals, Tektite, 5,000 yen pins. You'll notice the gist of it is we get a crap ton more stuff. Not adamantite like we'd like, but like, you know, it will do. So in the next part, we'll do some hard mode stuff as well as the mission. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!